This is Flying Nutcase, and in this tutorial we'll take a look at the destruction brush in IL-2 Stimovic. In the next four minutes we will look at what the destruction brush is, when to use it, how to use it, and a nasty little bug which rains on our parade just a little. So, what is the destruction brush? Well, by default buildings are undamaged when you fly a mission. But uh, we're in a war zone, so uh, it would be nice to be able to dis destroy some buildings. The destruction brush allows us uh, to create areas of damage, and you can have some or most or even all buildings in any given area destroyed before the mission begins. Now, when should we use it? Well, given that we're flying usually in a war zone, it's probably a good idea to use it in every mission that you make. Now, how do you use it? Well, I've got the Stalingrad map up now, and let's zoom in a little on Stalingrad City. Well, if there was ever a war zone, this was it. Uh, we'll go first to Destruction, View Destruction. We have a little uh, option bar up here, so uh, what we want to do, we're going to bring uh, the brush size down a little and the destruction level, keep it about 50%. To paint, say paint destruction on Stalingrad, let's hit the, or, or first just click back onto the map, hit the F key, and I'm just going to move my mouse with the F key pressed down. Okay, the F key is down, just moving the mouse around. So, you can see that I can paint destruction very easily and uh, quite efficiently. I can bring the destruction level up, and also I'll just click back on the map, and F key down, paint destruction. Uh, I could also bring the destruction level right down, again just click back on the map, and paint destruction. Uh, if you want to do it very quickly, brush size up, Maybe you want to give like a base destruction level for a sp um, for an area. So maybe uh, like about 30% and click back on the map, paint destruction, just like that. Easy as pie, even all the way over here. Now, uh, if you want to get a little more detailed, why not zoom in? Maybe uh, this area, which we've given about 50% uh, destruction, maybe this area needs a little more. It's in the, right in the war zone, so we'll bring it up to like 95 percent and bring the brush size way down and let's click back on the map press the F key and paint some destruction it's easy as that right not too bad now one further thing is that if we zoom right out again we could if we really wanted to uh, paint destruction for the entire map and it might be a good idea in that case to bring the brush size to the maximum. The destruction level, well again you probably want to set like a base level, it might even be like 25% or in this uh, Stalingrad situation maybe more. But uh, I can go around and again click on the map, F key down, paint destruction on all these little towns here and it's done very quickly. You can do the whole map in like what a minute and then go down and customize specific areas uh, to your needs, right? So, that's it. Now, there's a problem, and that's where the uh, bug comes in. If you, so zoom in on Stalingrad again, if you put a target, for example, defense ground, onto an area that has destruction, alright, so that because of this bug, the area under the target will not have destruction in the mission. It's a bit of a bummer, but that's just the way it is, and that applies to defense ground and also destroy ground. So what can you do? Well, if you have an area that you really want destroyed, you will not be able to use destroy ground or defend defense ground targets uh, in those areas. Um, if the targets are important, then hopefully having destruction is not so important. <laughs> so a bit of a trade-off there. Uh, you'll know what to do. <laughs> okay, well that's all from me. 
that's uh, just a quick look at the, the destruction brush very useful use it in every mission remember about the bug and I'm sure you'll find it a pretty useful kind of tool I've gone over my four minutes but I hope you found that uh, of, of benefit this is Flying Nutcase wishing you a very nice day